right, let's learn a little bit about how baby bees uh, go through their life cycle. So uh, first, the queen will lay eggs. She lays about a thousand eggs. She can even lay even more than that each day. And the eggs, there are a ton of eggs all in here. If you go in real close, maybe you can see them. They look like a little piece of rice. They're actually about the quarter, a quarter of the size of a piece of rice. They're very small, thin, little like white sticks. Do you see that? And those are the eggs. And then within about three days, they hatch and a little worm called a larva comes out. And we can see some larva over here. Can you see that? Let's see if we can get it in the light. That's the easiest way to see. So those are just teeny tiny larva. And then it takes about seven or eight days and those larva get bigger and bigger. And then they, uh, I'll show you what they do next. Let's find a better example. Uh, this is much further down. Okay, so why don't we, so the larva, here we go over here. This is probably day seven or eight. And look how big they've gotten. Those fat little worms. <laughs> so around day seven or eight, they get big and juicy like this, and then they weave a cocoon. So you can see that. These are all, we call that cat brood. So if we look down the, uh, the um, frame here, we see lots and lots of capped brood. And there are a few that are still open that haven't quite capped yet. But look at that capped brood. And while we're looking at this frame, this is a great example. So do you see all these that are low, look about the same? Mm -hmm. Those are all gonna become worker bees. But do you see these that are like popped out? Like a pimple. Yeah, like big, lots and lots of pimples. <laughs> um, those are going to be uh, drone bees. So they look a little bit different, their cells. So the cells are a little bit bigger and they puff out like that. And the drones are a bit bigger too. Let's see if we can find a drone on here. These are almost all we workers. If we look right here, forget the drone, we have bees hatching. So look, there's a little bee. Oh, I see it. Yeah, it's chewing its way out. So you can see there are tons of bees. If you look right here, mm -hmm. one, two, three, they're chewing their way oh. out of that cocoon that they spun. Here's another one here, one, two, and if you look right here, there's a baby bee that was just born. If you compare it to the bee next to it, you see the color is a little mm -hmm. bit different and they're a little bit smaller. This is one that's just a little bit older, but mm -hmm. still not fully grown. So this is like the nursery. Here. This is the nursery, that's right. So if you look in here, I wonder if you can tell the difference between the nurse bees that are grown up and taking care of the babies and the smaller baby bees that were just born. Oh. When bees are first born, they, they have different jobs at different ages, but when they're first born, their first job is to be a nurse bee. So they help new bees to be born. And uh, they feed them, they tend to them. And uh, if you look here at the whole, at the whole frame, mm -hmm. you can see that there's still capped brood that are being born up here. Mm -hmm. And in the middle, there's, it's empty. Mm. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's not actually empty. That's full of new eggs. The queen almost always starts laying her eggs in the middle of the frame and works her way out. So it almost looks like a, like a target or a bullseye. Mm. And so those bees, except for the few here and there, those were already born. And now the last ones are being born and she's already laid eggs in here. And then she'll start laying as the space frees up. But, but she's not there right now. No, I don't see the queen on here right now. She's laying eggs somewhere else. So cool. Yeah.